good afternoon dear children i hope you are all safe children today take out your balbarithi books and open to page number 45 lesson number 20 all about glass today we will study how what glass is and how useful glass is to us as we all know glass is a hard material that can be made into many shapes it is usually transparent but it can also be made in color in various colors glass is very useful material because it can be used for variety of things glass is useful for the formation of glass lead containers glass containers are popular as we can store things without blocking light and we can also see through it children to understand this lesson properly let me ask you a few questions name the company where glass is made in india gold plus glass industry limited was started in the year 1985 it specializes in the progressing trading and manufacturing of glass it manufactures huge ranges of glass we find glass industries in various places like the parimal glass industry in mumbai that is at lower parel the gujarat borosil limited and the pragati glass company at kolla name the everyday things made of glass yes like light bulbs bottles jars glasses reading glasses marble are the everyday things made of glass glass is one of the most beautiful substance that we see around us glass does not contain any chemical it can be washed at high temperature what do you mean by temperature means in hot nice hot water glass jars save the earth recycled glass save 40% energy than manufacturing new glass and about 80% of all recycled glass can be reclaimed children just look around yourself and see how many things you can find that are made of glass i mean while coming to school while sitting in the class while walking around in the corridors of the school now that you are at home you will know a lot of glass things that are around in your houses so just name them yes the glass ventilators or the glass windows of the building the glasses that are on the cars the windscreen the window glasses of the cars glass different colored glass bottles and variety of design type of glass bowls or plates or even dishes children what is this this is a light bulb we see them in our houses they help us to see when it becomes dark we have light in our house because of these light bulbs but slowly these light bulbs are disappearing why because now the new bulbs that have come out are the led bulbs though they are light they are brighter now the second one is the bottles of various shapes and colors these bottles help us glass bottles help us to store our things liquid things like honey cold drinks then many other things that we use in the kitchen our drinking water which we can put these bottles in the fridge also
we have glass jars that help us to store things in these glass jars like the vegetable the fruits the chili the red chili the uh, green chili or many many dry things like the um what do you call it shape kurmura all that glass ja uh, glasses which are used to drink water or some of us even have our tea in this type of glasses now what is this reading glasses yes these some of us use it because we can't see things at a distance or even sometimes we can't read from our books so we have to use this to read correctly to see things correctly children what is this you all know that especially our my boys you all know what these are yes marble that you play with you hit each other's marbles and try to take the marbles away like you know when you hit that marble the marble comes to you so these are the different marbles the window panes of our window in our houses are made of glass children let's continue the lesson and let's learn about where the glass come from glass is made from white sand with heating up a few chemicals like soda and lime now children let's see how glass is made the glass that is used to make so many everyday things is a man made material now let us go further and see how, what material is used to make this glass can you guess what material we can use can you guess what it is made up of it may seem unbelievable but this clear transparent and smooth looking material is actually made from sand yes children i know you are surprised to know that this transparent material is made from sand but along the sand what other things are used let's go further and learn about it children let's see what material is used to make this glass glass is made by heating a mixture of clean white sand and chemicals like soda and lime the mixture is heated in a furnace till it turns into a hot liquid glass when it cools down it becomes stiff and hard children we learn that with uh, the mixture of white sand and sodium chemicals like sodium and lime the glass is liquid is formed but we also learn that glass liquid when cools down becomes hard and we can never shape it so let us learn how glass is actually shaped once glass has become cold stiff and hard it is not possible to shape it glass is brittle that means it can break easily the liquid glass has to be shaped into different particles when it is still hot and soft very hot glass is more like a liquid you can pour it mold it roll it press it 
or even blow it to make a variety of shapes. It can be rolled on to make flat sheets of glass. In another process, molten glass is floated on a bed of molten metal to make very flat glass sheets of even thickness. Actually, when you look at this picture, what do you see? A paperweight, glass paperweight. You see the decorative items that are made of glass, decorative lampshades that are made of glass, and also a person making the glass. But how is it done? Drops of hot liquid glass can be blown into bottles, bulbs, glasses, and other objects. What are gobs? Gobs are nothing but a part of the molten glass. Liquid glass can also be drawn out into very thin fibers or glass wool. Now children, let's go on to learn some properties of glass. Glass has many useful properties. It is transparent, that is, you can see through it. It is strong and hard. You can put a lot of load on it. It is imperable. It does not allow water or any other liquid to pass through it. It doesn't get soggy or stained by itself. Glass has no effect on food, water or any other substances stored in a glass container. In other words, it does not impart a smell or taste to the food items. Ordinary glass has a smooth surface and it can be washed easily. And last but not the least important is the fact that it looks beautiful. No wonder then that it is used to make so many things. Now, how do we get colored glass? Let's learn about getting the various colored glasses. Ordinary glass is colorless, but it is possible to produce colored and transparent glass by using different combinations of chemicals in the glass making process. Glass can be given many beautiful colors like blue or the royal blue, the violet and the turquoise. The other colors like ruby red, pink, amber, orange, deep yellow, purple, amethyst, 
dark green, black and white. Don't all these colors look beautiful children? Yes. Now children, let's go on to learn about stained glasses. Where do you see these type of stained glasses? In movies, in the, in the churches, sometimes even in the temples. And many of us have got a hobby of making stained glasses. Colored glass is used to make beautiful pictures, especially in window panes. Such windows are known as stained glass windows. They are seen mostly in churches. Color glass can also be used to make beautiful sculptures or decorative articles. Children, we all have glass bottles and uh, water bottles, glass water bottles at home. But do you know these glass water bottles can be recycled or the glass jars can be recycled? Approximately only 45% glass waste gets recycled in India every year. What do we mean by glass waste? When glass gets old, we throw them away. So, or glass breaks, we throw it away. So, this can be recycled. Now, how can these be recycled? Now, let's learn the process of recycling of the glasses. Recycle process for glass bottles and jars are from the home, all the recycled things go to MMR office, to the re glass recycling faculty. Then it is powdered up. The powder is shifted, means it is strained. It goes into a heating area. It is, uh, the heating area is in the crushing area, grinding area. It is crushed. Then this uh, things are collected together. And finally the mixing machine which mixes all the glass. This is powdered glass. Now after this powdered glass it is melted and recycled again. Did you know glass is 100% recyclable and it can be recycled a number of times. You cannot count them in infinite number of times. Now we have to learn the right way for doing this. Now let's go on to learn how glass is recycled. Recycling of glass in this manner is much cheaper than making new glass from raw materials. Means when you have raw materials, they're spending a lot of money on getting all these raw materials. But when a glass is recycled, broken, crushed, and again molted and shaped, that is called recycling. It is much cheaper. This recycled glasses require much less heat and a lot of energy is saved. If you recycle even a single glass bottle, you save enough energy to power a color TV for about 20 minutes. Imagine that. One glass is recycled. The TV has to power for 20 minutes extra. So, the next time you throw away a glass bottle, think what you can do with it. If you look at these pictures here, 
A tray is made out of glass. Pieces of broken glasses are used in this tray to make a sun type of a picture on the tray. Broken glasses are put on other glasses to make like to make a vase. Glass is valuable. Now you know how glass is valuable. You know when the glass bottles in our houses break, what do we do? We just sweep it out and throw it in the dustbin. But if we collect these glass very carefully with the help of our parents, we could make projects like the spaceship that is going into the sky. See the picture of the spaceship flying into the sky. Then the sun and the moon together in the sky. Isn't it lovely? Children, your mother wears glass bangles, right? Now, when they are broken, what do we do? We throw them out. But today, we can learn how to make different things from these glass bangles. Look at these pictures. See how the peacock is being made with using the glass bangles. The fish, you can actually see the scales of the fish, the fin, the small fin, the tail, all made from glass. The butterfly, that too is made from glass. So this can be your work experience too. Lesson number 20, all about glass. Glass is one of the most beautiful substances that we see around us. Just take a look around yourself and see how many things you can find that are made of glass. Light bulbs, bottles, jars, glasses, reading glasses, marbles, window panes, to name just a few. Where does this glass come from? How glass is made? The glass that is used to make so many everyday things is actually man-made material. Can you guess what it is made from? It may seem unbelievable, but this clear, transparent and smooth looking material is actually made from sand. Glass is made by heating a mixture of clean white sand and chemicals like soda and lime. The mixture is heated in a furnace till it turns into hot liquid glass. When it cools down, it becomes stiff and hard. How is glass shaped? Once glass has become cold, stiff and hard, it is not possible to shape it. Glass is brittle, meaning brittle means breakable. It means it breaks easily. It has to be shaped into different articles when it is still hot and soft. Very hot glass is more like a liquid. You can pour it, mold it, roll it, press it or even blow it to make a variety of shapes, meaning a variety of different. Hot liquid glass is poured into molds and hardened to make articles of various shapes and sizes. It can also be rolled out to make flat sheets of glass. In another process, molten glass is floated on a bed of molten metal to make very flat glass sheets of even thickness. Gobs of hot liquid glass can be blown into bottles, bulbs, glasses and other objects. Glob means a amount of molten glass liquid. Liquid glass can also be drawn into very different thin fibers of glass wool. Some properties of glass. Glass has many useful properties. 
it is transparent you can see through it it is strong and hard you can put a lot of load on it it is impermeable it does not allow water or other liquid to pass through and doesn't get soggy or stained itself glass has no effect on the food water or other substances stored in glass container in other words it doesn't impart a smell or taste to them ordinary glass has a smooth surface and it can be washed easily and last but not the least important is the fact that it looks beautiful no wonder then that it is used to make so many things colored glass ordinary glass is colorless but it is possible to produce colored and transparent glass by using different combination of chemicals in the glass making process a uh, transparent means can see through it combination means joining two and three chemicals to get a mixing two and three chemicals glass can be given many different beautiful colors blue violet turquoise ruby red pink amber orange deep yellow purple amethyst dark green even black and white stained glass colored glass is used to make beautiful pictures especially in window panes some windows are known as stained glass windows they are mostly seen in churches colored glass can also be used to make beautiful sculptures or decorative articles it is also possible to paint on glass using special chemicals and processes glass can be recycled Another unique feature of glass is that it is 100% recyclable. Old glass can be used to make new glass any number of times. Recycling glass in this manner is much cheaper than making new glass from raw materials. It requires much less heat and a lot of energy is saved. If you recycle even a single glass bottle, you save enough energy to power a colored TV for about 20 minutes. So, the next time you throw away a glass bottle, think: glass is valuable. children i hope you enjoyed this lesson and understood it understood the importance of glass in our life and what we can do with broken glasses thank you stay home stay safe god bless